Hey, good evening, guys. Tush coming at you. Just coming up at 7 o'clock, Thursday, September the 17th. And we're back out in the garage after taking uh, a couple days off. Uh, last night, basically, we spent uh, running around trying to gather some parts for this. So uh, what we managed to get last night, um, we ended up getting some header wrap. So I'm going to rewrap my header. So I've got the header wrap here in black, which I thought would go better with the car. I've got some stainless steel ties and I've got those new um, <clears throat> intake and exhaust uh, gaskets. We looked for about three hours the other night for, for those, basically going through all the bins. And then I remember that I had a small box up there. It was the last place I looked. And of course, uh, it's always the last place you look. Anyway, uh, so we're going to do that tonight. We're going to get that header wrapped. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like now. It's got a sort of a buff wrap on it right now, which I don't particularly like. I've stripped it down uh, a little bit. It was the whole way down. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see that. But we're going to replace that old header wrap and uh, put a new fresh wrap on there. And like I said, we'll uh, replace those gaskets at the same time. This carb's going to come off anyway, so now is the time to do it. Uh, the other thing we ended up doing last night is we ended up running around and we got uh, another tool to experiment with. We got a, a tube bender that I found on our local uh, Kijiji or uh, similar to Craigslist for you guys that don't know what Kijiji is. So uh, it's a Princess Auto brand which is pretty much like a Harbor Freight brand down in the U.S. Although the Harbor Freight one down in the U.S. is significantly less uh, expensive than this. This retails for $190 Canadian. Uh, it's a 12 ton press and it comes with six different uh, shoes up to a uh, two inch size. So uh, I have a two inch pipe to bend so hopefully that will uh, suffice. The, uh, the largest shoe, the two inch, is just a little bit too big and the next size shoe down I think is inch and a half is just a little bit too small. From some of the YouTube videos I've watched you look I think for the inner diameter as far as fitting the shoe size. Uh, but anyway, we'll give it a try. I don't have to bend, uh, put a significant bend in this pipe. It's just a, sort of a shallow bend. It's not nothing like a 45 or a 90. So I think we'll be okay with that. So we've got that to do over the next couple days is to try to refit that exhaust. I figured what the heck. Uh, I ended up getting that for $50 Canadian. And like I said, it retails for uh, almost 200 bucks. That's without tax. So uh, I think we're going to play around with that. It's always I'd rather always have a, a tool in the garage that I think might work versus you know having to put the car in a trailer and uh, take it up to a shop and have them do it. So we'll experiment. We may end up, end up doing that uh, anyway, but we're going to experiment trying to do it ourselves. That's my uh, preferred way. So we'll give it a shot, and if we screw it up, we'll uh, take it to the professionals. Anyway, uh, that's about it for now, guys. We'll uh, just get started on taking that uh, header off the car. Uh, and then maybe I'll take you some video along the way of me wrapping the Nothing's header. Nothing's ever easy, right, guys. guys. We'll come back. And I managed to get the manifold gaskets off okay. But the problem is, to try to get the header out now, I got a choice to make. I can either remove the starter or remove the alternator because it's fouling on either one if I try to move it left or right. I tried dropping it through the bottom and it won't come out through the bottom either. I even had to remove the, uh, the water pipe up here. So I guess the choice is uh, alternator. It's got to come out. Or we're going to try to jimmy it around a little bit and see if that make enough space. But I think it's going to have to come out. Anyway, going to do it. Otherwise, uh, I can obviously install the new manifold gaskets. But uh, it'd be a heck of a job trying to wrap that uh, header with it on the car. So I'd prefer to take it off if possible. Well, that anyway, was fun. We'll we back. got the header out. We had to do a few more uh, modifications with a, uh, a BFH. There's a little... Uh, bracket down here which is the old steering column bracket which they have for the right hand drive car so I've just sort of had to bend that out of the way with a hammer and uh, there's the alternator removed or just off to the side so obviously the brake lines sort of get in the way starter still gets in the way anyway it's out so okay, we'll guys, here's proceed. the uh, carnage of the uh, stainless steel bands being removed so uh, here's what we're down to with the header this is a stainless steel header, four into one, and uh, I guess it's not really suggested to do this uh, wrap on a mild steel header because it'll just promote it to rust out a lot faster. So this is stainless, so I don't have really an issue uh, wrapping it. If it was a mild steel one, you could always get it uh, jet hot coated or ceramic coated or that something like that. So anyway, we're going to. Uh, I got a few more straps to our bands to remove here at the top. 
and then we're going to start uh, wrapping this completely all the way down to the collector down here so that's about it we'll uh, remove this old wrap I, I calling this buff this wrap or tan uh, anyway we're going to replace it with some uh, DEI uh, black uh, exhaust wrap um, so there I you mentioned go. that the DEI uh, wrap that I bought is two inch and it's 50 feet um, and apparently that is supposed to be good for a four cylinder there's a sort of a guide here on the back snowmobile motorcycle go-kart jet ski four cylinder engine one rolled two inch by 50 feet so if you're doing a six or an eight they suggest uh, two rolls of 50 feet or if you're going to do big, a big big block so you want uh, three rolls of 50 feet so anyway there it is hey guys one word of caution before i start uh, doing this um, and i probably should have cautioned you when i took the old wrap off this has uh, got fiberglass particles in it so you may want to get a mask and some gloves um, and you may want to wear some long pants <laughs> it's probably not a good idea to be doing any shorts and short sleeves but we'll take a shower afterwards um, so anyway, we're going to get our mask and our gloves on and we're going to... Alright guys, to not it. sure how well you're going to be able to see that. There's the header wrapped. I think it looks pretty good. It's uh, pretty tight. As tight as I could get it anyway. So it looks pretty neat up top. So I'm happy with that. It looks better than the other wrap anyway. So uh, we'll see if we can wrestle this back into the car. And then we'll give you another All shot. Alright guys, here's what it looks like on the car. I think it looks okay. I added one more little strap down the bottom just as a safety in case maybe one of the top two let go that's holding that larger wrap on so uh, yeah I think it looks uh, pretty good it looks much better than that buff or tan stuff that was on there and it should be pretty effective I think so I think we're gonna stop there for the night we'll uh, button everything back up tomorrow and then we'll get the uh, working on the carbs getting the carbs back on the car alright guys that's it for tonight we'll talk to you later